Hey everybody, this is Taylor with the Marathon County Public Library here for another story time. Today we are going to read some books all about boxes. So have you ever gotten, you know, a package in the mail or a new refrigerator and gotten a really big box? Well, there's so many different things you can do with that. So come along with me as we read some stories about boxes. Our first book is called Grace and Box. The day the new refrigerator came, Grace got Box. On Monday, Box was a rocket. On Tuesday, Box was a home. On Wednesday, Box was a tent for camping and also some ruins in Rome. He is very versatile, isn't he? On Thursday, Box was a submarine. On Friday, Box was Hong Kong, a huge city. On Saturday, Box was a deep, dark tunnel. But on Sunday, something was wrong. In one corner, Box was sagging, and one of his walls had a rip. One flap on Box was bent and crumpled. Box was a sinking ship. Grace gave him a checkup. His heartbeat seemed okay. She let him rest on the couch and read him stories all day. Hopefully that'll make him feel better. Next, she tried a bandage and then some veggie soup. But no matter what she did, Box continued to droop. Then Grace had an idea. If Box was a sinking boat, maybe she was a peg leg pirate trying to keep him afloat. Ahoy, matey, let's try some tape. Grace fixed the rip in his wall. Get some cardboard for reinforcement. She patched crumples, big and small. Box looked a little different now, but that didn't matter to Grace. By Monday, he was back to work as another magical place. So Box was a fort, then a castle, which Grace worked hard defending. And every few days, a new rip would need a little mending. They played the days away with lots of color and laughter <laughs> because best of friends, Grace and Box, had big dreams to chase after. So that was our first book called Grace and Box. So let's jump into our second story. Our next book is called Not a Box. Rabbit, why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. It's a race car. <coughs> what are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. It's a mountain. And he climbed all the way to Rabbit Peak. Why are you squirting a box? What do you think? I said, it's not a box. Ooh, it's like a building on fire. Firefighter rabbit is putting it out. Now you're wearing a box. This is not a box. It's a robot. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. It can be many things like a hot air balloon, a pirate ship, so many different things boxes can be. Well, what is it then, if it's not a box? Hmm. It's my not a box. And there goes Rabbit in his rocket ship. That was our second book called Not a Box. So as we've seen, boxes can be many, many things. So let's learn how to make something at home with a box. Hey 
Hey everybody, it's Taylor, and today we're gonna do a craft it on how to make your own book box. So, this craft is inspired by my book box by Will Hillenbrand. So, we're gonna read this book. It's a quick read, and then learn how to make our own book box. Okay. What can I do with a box? I can make a bug box, or a pizza box, or a pasta box, or a hat box, or a sock box, or a toy box, or a hide and seek box, or a book box. <gasps> what a great idea. Then I can have a book box at breakfast, in the bathroom, on an airplane, I can play games with my book box, travel with my book box, and rest with my book box. Take off with my book box. I can even have a book box lunch with a friend. My book box is my treasure box. It has everything I need. I love to share my book box with friends and mom but I especially love my book box at bedtime. It helps me to have sweet dreams. So you could see little elephant's book box. It eventually got decorated. So now we're gonna talk about ways that you can make your very own book box. So at home, you will need a box, just like this one where books can fit inside. And then you'll need some paper, some packing tape, scissors, stickers, glue, and some crayons. And then of course, some books to put in your book box. So after you have your box, you may need to use some packing tape to reinforce it so it can hold all of those heavy books. And then after an adult helps you with that, it's time to decorate. So from there, you can add construction paper. This is my book box. So I put stickers of some of my favorite book characters. You can see I have Clifford, Daniel Tiger, Angelina Ballerina. So take any stickers you might have at home. Here's an example of some, and you can decorate your book box. Also any cutout shapes you might have. I have some seahorses here, and you can also use some crayons to decorate it. And then once your book box is all done, it is perfect for fitting your books. And then you can take it with you wherever you go. Okay, so have fun creating your own book box at home. Our last book is called Big Box, Little Box. Big Box. Little box, huge box, and tiny box, thin box, and fat box, cat box, uh-oh, flat box. Brown box, green box, yellow box, black box, blue box, red box, hey, that's not a bed box. It's my box. This one is your box. My cat likes boxes too. <gasps> and snore box. Plain box, jazzy box, spotty box, snazzy box, shoe box, hat box, perfect for a cat box. She's all dressed up. Slippy box, slidey box, runaway and hidey box. Box round, box square. This one has a hole right there. Hmm. Nibbled box, chewed box, food box, house box. It's a mouse box. Cat peeks and mouse squeaks. Scurry, pounce, chase, and bounce. T 
tickle and purr. Warm fur. New friends. Ends. So it looks like they were taking a nap together in the box. Okay, so that was our last book for today called Big Box, Little Box. So I hope you enjoyed our stories today and have some ideas about some fun things you can do with boxes at home. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time for Family Storytime.